Possibly the most recognizable landmark in Central City is the Opera House. In 1878, at the height of the gold mining boom, the miners wanted to express pride in their success by building an opera house, a universal symbol of cosmopolitan culture and economic achievement. Denver architect Robert S. Rochlaub provided the stone structure's elegant understated design. After the gold boom went bust, the opera house fell into disrepair for nearly 40 years. Then, in 1932, Ann Evans and Ida Cruz McFarlane founded the Central City Opera House Association and created a summer festival. As you step through the front doors of the opera house into the foyer, what you'll notice first are the elegant chandeliers and staircases that lead up to the balcony level. There's also a poster of the performance of Camille that was produced in the first season and featured legendary actress Lillian Gish. A few graceful steps on each side of the foyer lead directly into the breathtaking auditorium with its 348 seats on the main level, and in the balcony you'll find 202 additional seats. The elaborate murals throughout the interior were painted by San Francisco artist John C. Massman. The Opera House is known for its frescoed ceiling and perfect acoustics. Names of Colorado pioneers and notables of the American stage and opera world, like Horace Tabor, Buffalo Bill, Beverly Sills, and of course, Lillian Gish were carved into the backs of the seats. These memorials were later transferred from the old hickory chairs when modern theater seats were installed in 1999. Today, the Central City Opera House is the perfect blend of jewel box theater splendor and contemporary comfort. Each June through August, the opera company stages its summer festival. You'll want to take in one or more of their opera performances. For more information, visit centralcityopera.org.